Good evening, Go One Group. And yes, it is evening. It's 9 o'clock at night. So, yeah, it's dark. Anyway, I uh, figured I'd let you guys know what I've done so far. Uh, fairing. It's all together. It doesn't look like a spaghetti bowl sticking out of it anymore. Um, these units right here, your switch, the switches that are for the radio, for Clarion Type 2 radio and CB, I had three. Uh, they were all not very good. I purchased a some CB components off of a gentleman who was selling them as a wiring package. They had a set to come in. They weren't no good. So I took all four sets apart. <laughs> found all the parts that I can that that were still good within all of all four sets. Made one good set. This set works perfectly fine now. Uh, I would went out and purchased an ohm meter so I could do this and make sure that from here corresponds to what you do up here. So yeah, they work now. Um, motorcycle as far as the brakes brakes go I found out it's not a power issue it's a ground issue so now I have to go from my brake pedal switches and trace all that wiring and find the broke wire that I have um, that's the only thing it can be now because um, it's not a power issue I fixed the power issue um, <laughs> believe it or not the power issue was a fuse um, and it would read sometimes and sometimes it wouldn't so I pulled that fuse out replaced that fuse and then I didn't have the problem but I still knew now I have brake lights so that leads me to think that it's a ground issue from the brake switches or if it's a power issue to the brake switches I'm thinking that the brake switches should be ground um, it makes a logical I don't think you would want a positive contact uh, going on and off uh, momentary like that I would do a ground myself so I'm going to trace all those, um, purchase several rolls of duct tape, um, and redo the wiring uh, on this bike as far as that goes and just go through it and fix it. Um, uh, when I bought these off of eBay, the gentleman bought, I also got you know several other wires. Some I didn't need and some I did. Um, this wire right here, if you look, it's quite long and it's sticking out quite a ways I mean that's it's a good I almost say three feet from the bike right now um, that will be folded up nice and neat and zip tied and then it'll be up by the fairing uh, I also got the passenger CB mic switch got it all ran up and everything so and got all the wiring that I needed for inside the fairing for the CB module that I did not have, which was one wire. Um, it's the wire that goes and splits from the switch up here, up up here, and the, that switch back there. So that'll be taken care of. So now I have all the complete. This bike will be completely, fully, 100% loaded. Uh, it has every option besides the CB antenna splitter. I wanted to run two antennas so I did not get the splitter um, that's the only thing that this bike does not have that came out on the 80 to 83 models um, so uh, the fairing now the reason why I'm going back to the fairing is because a gentleman was asking about headlights uh, I guess his is not bright enough for him he doesn't like it um, I do not know if he's naked or if he's fully dressed. Either way, uh, the lens that I have will work in either one. Um, I picked this up off of eBay. Um, it's their diamond cut style. Um, it's also a halo. If you don't like halo, they make them without halo. Um, it's very, very bright. If you look, in, look into my, uh, look on, on my posts, on my page, uh, look into my videos you will see it and it's on low it's on it's not on high beam it's on low beam so I should give you an idea of how bright it is I do have a Sylvania uh, blue headlight bulb in it um, 
it's an eight standard H4 bulb. Um, it's very bright. If you went LED, which I have one, I just did not put it in because I didn't want to cut my fairing, the hole in my fairing, because the back of it is about like this long. It's quite large. Um, it rubbed. I didn't want to mess with it, so I just decided not to run the, uh, the LED headlight. Um, but other than that, that's where I'm at on the bike. I should have the brake system, the brake light system done probably by this weekend, I'm thinking. Um, and then it'll be on to the other things, like uh, I've got to replace the rear air shocks and I've got to replace the front forks on this. I have another set. I've been cleaning up and fixing. I've got new seals for them and then I'll put new charge oil in them and get them on the bike and they'll be done and they'll be nice and pretty and they won't be dull and ugly like these over here. These are nice and gray. Yeah, mine are nice and polished. I've got a polishing wheel in the back, back here. So, yeah, they'll be cleaned up. But anyway, that's where I'm at. Uh, I should have this thing up and running and road legal by the end of this month. Please, Jesus, please. I need wind therapy. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, it's a long road. I'm slowly getting there. Uh, I know you guys are probably tired of seeing these videos. But, hey, you know, some people like them. So, anyway, talk to you guys later. Uh, ride safe. Have fun on your builds and always God bless. Bye.